Hello YouTube, this is Morgan, Airspeed Prime here at my next Avatar news update video. Uh, though this one is less about like news that has just suddenly broke and more of kind of like, okay, like we've kind of been fairly news light the last couple of weeks. Uh, wh when are we actually expecting stuff? This is kind of more of a like, when you can expect my channel to be very Avatar focused. So the most notable thing is that basically in 20 days, basically just under three weeks time, Free Comic Book Day is going to be here. It's going to be uh, May 7th, I think is uh, it's this year. Uh, it's the first Saturday in May, so May 7th. Uh, and we will be getting a for Free Comic Book Day, a free Korra comic from Dark Horse. So they are going to have the cover, that's going to be the, the kind of cover story. It's also going to have like a, some other stuff, I think Plants vs. Zombies and something else. Uh, but, you know, I don't really read, read those other stuff. I'm very focused on the core stuff. This is going to be the first core comic released. Um, and, uh, yeah, that's basically it. We are getting that uh, in just under three weeks. And, yeah, it's going to be free. It's one of those ones where, like, free comic book day, you have to have a local comic book store near you that participates in the event to get a physical copy of this comic. And then even if you have one, you kind of have to queue up early to make sure you get it. Uh, depending on where you live, it could be very difficult. Like, for example, um, I've got, I have one of the free comics from the past three years. Uh, two, two of the other times I just couldn't get it. Um, now, this is just going to be a, you know, seven, I think, to like ten, eleven page comic. Um, it looks, based on the cover, to be about Korra and Naga, how they met, basically, the kind of origin story of that friendship. Uh, and it could be potentially framed in a setup for the actual full-on Korra comics, um, but we're not fully sure. We really don't know a lot about it just yet. There have been no preview pages, and at this stage, I don't think we are going to get preview pages. I think it's just a case of the book is going to come out, we're going to know what it's about then. All we have to go on right now is the cover, which you can see here if you haven't seen it before. So yeah, that's coming out, that's going to get people excited because it is the first core comic ever, but beyond that, I don't think it's going to keep people's attention for that long because then the focus is going to shift to basically, okay, the only thing to really look forward to, I think, is the next comics and when are the next comics coming out um, well they've said that we are going to get Cora comic news at San Diego Comic Con they basically said they're holding back a lot of news for the Cora comics until San Diego Comic Con which is kind of mid to late July so that's that's a good while off just yet so uh, we're not expecting uh, news about Cora comics anytime soon uh, it's going to be build up to San Diego Comic Con before we hear anything. I would assume that there's enough content coming out for Avatar that they could do a full on Avatar comics, you know, Avatar books panel. Um, I just don't see how they can cover all the stuff they have coming out uh, in the middle of a Dark Horse panel. And as well as that, they I think they realize how popular Avatar is and they can just put the name on a panel and it will f they'll fill that room and they'll have people to talk to about comics and they will sell stuff so uh, it makes for me a lot of business sense for them to like let's not kind of just have our dark horse panel be full of avatar fans let's kind of separate that into its own thing they always seem to have a really popular panel give them their own panel and we'll talk about our other comics during the dark horse panel and potentially briefly mention some core stuff in the dark horse uh, general panel because it is a big book for them it's not just a case of the avatar fandom likes the comics no, the, the Avatar comics are very popular for Dark Horse. They're definitely one of their best sellers. Um, so yeah, we'll get core comic news then. Now, what we're expecting a core the, then is, at the very least, cover for part one, if not the cover for like part two, two and three. But I think primarily just an ex explanation about what the story is in general going to be about. Like, what are we really covering here? All you've said to us so far is that it's going to cover Korosami to some degree and the rebuilding of Republic City, but, like, what's the plot? Like, is there a villain or is it just a kind of continued epilogue type thing where we just deal with the um, aftermath of Book 4? What? That's the sort of stuff they need to cover. I'd like them to very much show off uh, some of the art 
because obviously, as I said before, there have been rumours going around the place that Brittany Williams, who at New York Comic Con last year was confirmed to be the artist for the core comics, that she's no longer working on the core comics anymore. So if that's the case, they may have to potentially announce a new artist, which could delay things. And then I think everyone really liked Brittany Williams' style. So if the new artist that comes in isn't as liked, there could be some like issues, but um, we'll, we'll see how it goes. Um, uh, as well as that, they'll probably reveal a lot of information about North and South Part 1 there, because North and South Part 1 is expected out in late September slash early October. Um, and... You know, it, it, that means that, like, you have to kind of go back a month or two, so, like, j late July, August, maybe a little bit before then, preview pages. So, theoretically, preview pages could be coming out in or around San Diego Comic-Con as well. That could be a good thing to show off in the panel, actually just reveal those preview pages for the first time. Or, as they've done before, at the convention, give out a little booklet with, like, an extended preview, like 12 pages, like they did for Smoke and Shadow. I can definitely see that happening coming out of uh, San Diego Comic Con, where we have a, a good few pages from the start of North and South. And I think they'll talk a little bit more about the characters and stuff like that, what they're going for with that. And I think maybe the future of Avatar Comics as well. I think they need to say what's happening next, just because of how Smoke and Shadow ended. Um, and then in or around that time, we'll probably be getting some news about which posters are going to be included in the Korra poster collection, which is coming out in September as well. So a lot of that sort of stuff. And I suppose most importantly for the Korra comics, uh, a release date for the book. We have fall 2016, but that was like said by Brittany Williams. And now if she's not working on it, then it may not be fall. So it could be like early 2017 or very, very late uh, 2016. But um it's to the point where, like, if Brittany Williams is still on the project and she's just said that to kind of stay undercover and just, like, fo be focused on the project, that means that a lot of part one could be done, so we could get a lot more information than we even expect. So, we don't really know, but um, it's just one of those things where a lot of the big news is only coming out towards the end of the year, the second half of the year. Like, we're, we're not even, like, halfway... We're, we're just over halfway through, like, like, the fourth month of the year. We're not expecting news, really, until, you know, the, the seventh, eighth, ninth month of the year. And um, so, it's, uh, it's, 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 a, it's, a, it's a tough one, you know. There's got to be a lot... Some long periods of not knowing anything. And uh, it's going to be hard to kind of fill in that time. But that's why I'm doing my Avatar discussion videos and so on. But uh, yeah, the, the next big thing coming up is the Core Free Comic. Uh, I will be reviewing it on my channel. We'll be doing a podcast review the, the day it comes out. And uh, I should be able to post a link to where you can read the comic as well. Because I don't mind posting links to the free comics just because they're so hard to get. And they usually distribute it for free and around the place as well. But uh, yeah, that's just an idea about what Avatar stuff you can actually expect coming out in the next kind of couple of months. It's... It's very focused on the comics and the books and the merchandise. You know, I didn't even mention, you know, there's um, Zwire's uh, core figure is coming out in um, June or July. The Chibi figures will be shipping in August. I have a pre-order for the Aang, so I'll have a review for that at that point when it comes out, when I get it. Um, and I think some of the Dark Horse statues, like Dark Horse's Aang and Korra statue, will be also coming out. So, you know, if you really care about that merchandise... That's coming out, but it's not big news, you know. Um, and then, not quite Avatar news, but related to that, we have stuff like um, Mike DiMartino's, the project that he's working on right now, the, the kind of non-Avatar project, his uh, series of novels, uh, Rebel Genius. The first book, which is called Rebel Genius, is coming out in October. So uh, that should be fun for a lot of people to read. And uh, I think in just like a month or two, the project that most of the Korra crew moved on to after Korra, Voltron, the new Voltron show on Netflix is coming out in about a month or two. So uh, that should be interesting to check out because I think they basically said that like, look, this isn't just about robots. We, we've tried to make this kind of a Korra-like character driven show where a lot of stuff is happening. It's more than just a big robot. So that should be an interesting one to check out. I might do something about that on my channel when it does come out, but yeah. Uh, We'll see. But uh, yeah, beyond that, uh, that's been the video. In the comments, let me know what your thoughts were. Uh, other than that, thanks for watching and bye.